Evening all, and welcome back to Factorio. I'm joined as ever by Daniel Gamer. Hello, hello. Uh, hello, hello, hello. Who isn't racing for landfill anymore? Uh, no, uh, because uh, it just it's... takes too long. So I am going. Yeah, I don't to... think the machine's getting enough uh, stone. So no. So I'm just going to pick up a ton of furnaces, and I'm going to go start setting this up uh, don't forget we want to move that uh the the two rails uh the the top one the top one wants to be moved up and lined up with uh that right about there that would make sense wouldn't it, yeah, it go through? yeah that would make sense and then the the horizontal one uh or vertical one i should say sorry uh on the left can be moved over if you want to yeah it can. It can move over to where the rocket uh, control unit build is, and that build can be moved. So. Yeah, but we we don't need to move the build, do we? We don't. But I mean, you could move it over and like put it in there. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, ideally, we want to bring it back and line it up again with that roundabout that I just pinned, um, and then move the advanced circuit pickups just be the other way around about and then that would be lovely you'd have another square there but then that wouldn't work because the advanced circuits wouldn't be they're in the way they're uh and they they need doubling all, all the way down that that needs yeah that we need a lot more advanced need, circuits needs another two i think i think it needs six lines like six rows of what i've got there so yeah two, we need six of them yeah yeah so um yeah yeah that's that's fun that's fun uh, I've run out of a lot time. to do. A lot to do. Alright, let's... Um... You know what? Let's go over here. And we'll start by extending this. So... Uh, as you all know, we're recording three episodes on the same day. Every Saturday we record. And incidentally, tomorrow is my birthday. Uh, Sunday. When uh, when the Sunday ep episode went up. And we have big, 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 big plans for the menu. Because we, we, we can't go out and eat at the moment in Thailand. It's It's just not possible. Uh, because of COVID, uh, everything is shut down. So we are making a home restaurant tomorrow. It's going to be awesome. We are making... Um, we're making a homemade Caesar salad with homemade dressing, uh, homemade croutons, everything. Um, I can't wait. It's going to be amazing. Sounds yummy. Uh, uh, that, that's the starter. That's the starter. And then we are going to make... Um, uh, oh, I need to put down some chests. Um, then we're going to make a uh, flank steak. Uh, uh, this is a side of beef, I guess. Um, and that is... It's a 750 gram side of beef for two people. Uh, so we, we we are hungry in our family. Uh, uh, you can see you can see that I'm hungry from my figure, but you can't really see it from <laughs> <laughs> you can't really see it on my wife's figure that she's hungry too, and she's more hungry than I am. Uh, uh, so um, yeah, um, so uh, I just made marinade for uh for for the flank steak it's gonna be amazing it's, uh, i've made a marinade of olive oil, olive oil um worcester sauce um uh, a little bit of beer in there uh garlic a lot of garlic i love garlic uh right, so i'm i'm taking the off work tomorrow and flying out to you um yeah uh, and uh and and we'll we'll, we'll we'll ignore that they'll they'll stop me coming. That's, that's... <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, it's it's gonna be awesome. And then ice cream for dessert. Um, and uh, and the cold potato salad. We'll be making whole homemade cold potato salad. Uh, I can't wait. I I am my mouth is watering just from thinking about it. It does it does sound pretty good actually. It's uh. <laughs> It's going to be amazing. So uh, I, I made the marinade today for 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 the uh, for the flank steak, and we put it in the uh, marinade already. So it's going to marinate for a full twenty hours or so. Oh, very nice! I can't wait! I can't wait! It certainly sounds good. It certainly sounds good. It's going to be amazing. So, oh. Spider troll. And on top of that, somebody's bouncing me. In around thirty minutes, Arsenal is going to start crushing Manchester City it's, it's just all around it, it's funny you said it because I know this episode is going to go out on Thursday and you're, you're mm. talking about stuff that's going to happen in half an hour after recording it yeah um, and it's just like mm, yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> and I know the answers I, I know I, 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 I future me already knows the answers yeah um and they're all going to be true. All my uh, postulates are going to be true. Right. Uh, are, are all your, your football predictions correct? Always. That's why you're a gambling millionaire. Exactly. Exactly. Excellent. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. You've been holding out on me. Yeah. But actually, uh, in Fantasy Premier League, I am currently sitting around 300,000th of around seven and a half million players in game week one i was at uh around 44,000. so game week two wasn't as good but still pretty good uh, if you can hit the levels that i've hit through the entire season, then you probably win the win the the Premier Fantasy Premier League. But I I won't do that, of course, because I, I I'm not that good. <laughs> I just think it's fun. Also, I'm not sure that the first prize, well, the first prize is like uh, th three days uh, or, or three matches in England at in the at Premier League games, stuff like that, uh, and travel and uh, everything included. But I'm not sure that counts for Asia. Yes. I, I would expect that they wouldn't want you to f want to fly you in from Thailand. Because it's a free game to play. I mean, it's free to play. Yeah, but if they uh, are offering it and, you know, it's... Uh... Yeah. Yeah. Grab the rails. Right. Have you ever been to a uh, an Arsenal game? Not in uh, uh, when it was Highbury. Oh, okay. So a long time ago. 
a long, long time ago. Yeah, yeah. I was a uh, rather young, and I don't remember if I was a fan of Arsenal before I went or afterwards. Uh, if, if that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It makes and sense. That's what made me. I can't remember. Because it was very, very long time ago. Yeah. And I was uh, taken there by a friend's uncle. Okay. I and wish yeah, I'd I, been to I Highbury. I, I seem to remember him saying, you know, like, oh, you know, you need to go and see a football game or something. I'm like, yeah, I want to go and see a football game, but I've just never, you know, never have. Hmm. And like, oh, yeah, we'll have to take you. And, you know, being very, very uh, young, taking the train up to London was all a big, like, oh, this is. Yeah. Makes sense. This is, this is this is all new and makes sense. And I definitely I do remember enjoying it. I do remember enjoying a lot of it. But uh, mm. like I said I don't know if that's what made me an Arsenal fan or, or wasn't an Arsenal fan. I don't. I just don't. I don't remember from that far back. <laughs> no. Yeah. So so uh, I became an Arsenal fan because I played. Uh, computer game uh, the manager uh, which was before there was something called uh, what's it called now uh, football manager yes yeah, called football manager so that would have been what the old premier manager 99 that sort of thing oh no no before that before that it, it was just called the manager uh, and you, oh, okay. uh, you 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 uh, you, you didn't just manage the team, you also managed the entire club. So you decided when to expand the stadium, stuff like that. Yep. Yep. That's 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 what the early Premier Manager, uh, Premier Manager 99 was my first sort of game into that. Okay. And that was how expensive are the hot dogs, how many season tickets you're going to sell. Yeah. What's the price of the season tickets, so on and so forth. Yeah. So so maybe the manager, because it was just called the manager, so maybe the manager tur turned into Premier Manager or something. Oh, possibly, yeah. Um, uh, so, so, and I, the the first game I played, I managed Arsenal. I had no idea uh, if they were a big club or not. I'm Danish, so I didn't really know football, and it, I wasn't that interested in football back then. But I just thought it was a fun game, uh, and and I just ever since then, I, I've just been an Arsenal fan because that was my first club I managed. Makes sense. Makes sense. As good a reason as any. Yeah. And um, and then I think what five, six years ago, six years ago, probably. Uh, I had to go for um, for some training in, in London, and it turned out that uh, Arsenal were playing at home that weekend against uh, Aston Villa uh, and, and I bought a ticket uh, for it so I stayed a little bit longer after the training course was done uh, to, to to watch the the, the Arsenal Aston Villa game and we won I think it was 5-0 it was which was nice and I was sitting right behind uh the arsenal bench basically uh so i i could have basically spat arson wenger in the neck if i wanted to i didn't though <laughs> uh, okay uh, so yeah it, it was really cool that was a really cool experience that was a really cool experience That was obviously at the uh, Emirates Stadium, not Highbury. I really wish I'd have experienced Highbury. So I don't. I, I remember being there, and I remember, you know, it was it, it was daunting for me because I was I was you know a little kid. And, mm -hmm. But um, uh, I I really enjoyed it. I do really enjoy it. But I don't remember the specifics of it. I I uh, we were playing. Uh, West Ham, I think it was. Oh, the old enemy. Yeah, 
Yeah. Hmm. And we won. I remember we won. I don't know what the score was. Hmm. But as, as I said, it, it was it was the whole experience. It wasn't until like probably years afterwards when uh, I went up to secondary school and everyone was like, oh, yeah, football this, football that. And it's like, oh, do you support Arsenal, I suppose. And, and that, was, that was it, really. It was, uh, yeah. you know, that was my... Uh, my four into it, right? So that's that's good. That's good. So are we good here? We good here? Awesome. Um, this is not ideal. So uh, it's fine. It's funny because I, I mean Danish football. I I I really don't care. Uh, it, it's just not at a high enough level that I think it's fun to watch. Um. And that's basically it. Uh, I, I don't think it's fun to watch because why, why watch that when I can watch the Premier League where it's so much better football? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Yeah, I can't, I can't argue with that at all because. Uh... I mean, I, I don't like to watch the Championship either. I, I mean. Oh crap! Why would I want? To watch the championship when I can watch the Premier League. Well, there are some people that like lower lower football. Yeah, yeah, there, there are. I I just don't. For, I mean, it's I've not seen, for me. Uh, I've yeah. I, I mean, I've 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 actually watched. Um, uh, well, Margate aren't even at a team, but uh, Gillingham. I watched Gillingham mm -hmm. um, uh, play a few times. Uh, they're like the local team, which are, well, none, they're not local. They're quite a distance away from me, but um, I have seen them play a few times, and it's like, oh yeah. And the passion is just as strong, absolutely just as strong. Yeah, but I know. For teams, is clearly not. <laughs> no, no. So, so yeah, but 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 I do un uh, I I do understand that, uh, and. Uh, I suppose in Denmark there are two teams that I would support if I watched Danish football, and that would be uh, Brøndby. Um, uh, just because I know their former keeper. Uh, okay. I, I I I grew up with him, kind of. Um, well, with his big brother, I, I went to school with his big brother, so uh, I know him from there. And and then uh, HB Koo, uh, because I'm from Koo. And uh, yeah. uh, and now Daniel Agar, uh, Daniel Agar is, is the uh, is the manager of Koo, and he's also a player now. He he regist actually registered as a player. Okay, as as you do. Yeah. So so that that could be kind of interesting. That could be kind of interesting to see Aga in the in action again. I mean, he was a brilliant defender. He, I I would say he was one of the best defenders ever. Uh, he was unfortunate to be hit by a lot of injuries, but other than that, when he played, he, he played really really well. You remember him from uh, from Liverpool? I I do recognise the name, but I can't. I can't. I don't know. Mm. I I know nothing about them, but I do recognise the name. Uh, right, if this wants to be renamed to. Um... So, when when he was fit, he would be in the starting lineup every time for for Liverpool. But it did have a lot of injuries. I guess he played alongside uh, Sammy Hupia for most of his career. Okay, that name doesn't ring a bell. <laughs> okay. Got some steel up here. Let's steal some steel from here for the. Let's steal some. 
Spring you. Why did I make four rocket fuel? I thought you weird. Still not getting any processing units. Oh, okay. 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 I didn't realize. I, 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 I thought the, uh, the machine that makes flamethrower ammo, mm -hmm. um, I thought it stacked up to 100, but apparently it stacks to 4 in the machine and then stops and goes, oh, no, I can't do anymore. Ah, yeah. So the machines don't stack as high uh, uh, as no, the... Weird. But I, I, I thought they did, because I'm sure I've come down and picked up 100, but that might be when you force feed it loads of uh, steel. That could well be. That could well be. Okay, so this is not ideal for what we're doing here, is it? We really want... Really what I should have done up here is actually... Um, have the light fuel be converted into is it better to convert light fuel into I think light fuel is solid better fuel. for uh, solid fuel I think I'm not sure Because it's weird here, because it's got, on, on the calculator, it's got using chemical plants for light fuel and petroleum. But then I think it's using the petroleum as well. It's not, it's not, it's, it's trying to use up all the resources. Because uh, otherwise you end up stuck with petroleum. Yeah. So maybe I should have actually rebuilt this in a better way. So that it um, uses solid fuel. It uses that to make sure because our solid fuel is um is is just it's an awful it's an afterthought. Okay. It's an absolute afterthought. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's not so good. Is solid fuel needed anywhere else? Or is it? Uh... Um, I think it's needed for some science, isn't it? No, 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 it's not. No, we, we're not. We, we, no, the no, only no. Place we're using it is in trains right now. So. Yeah. Ah, uh, so do I want to redesign this already? Yes, I might as well redesign this before it starts doing stuff. That's what I should do. Before it actually starts doing anything, let's let's have a look at redesigning it so that it makes... ...the stuff I want it to make. Why do I have two of them? I don't know. We've got solid fuel coming in here. What if it just had the pipes coming? And made the stuff that way instead. What if I did that? Can I do that? Can I do that? I feel like I could do that. I feel like that's a thing that's doable. I need more chemical plants, but it's fine. Uh, so if we did like that, 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 and that, I don't know if this is a good idea or not. <coughs> I have no idea. Will the pipes be able to keep up? How do pipes work? Who knows? They're like magnets. <laughs> I don't understand how pipes work in this game. I'll, I'll be quite honest with you. I've I've tried looking it up. I've tried figuring it out. It makes no sense. So I don't know how to uh, try and decipher how any of that works. I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you. Well, why not? Because I don't know either. It's just not good enough. I don't know. Mm. Yeah, I have to pat all of them, and then that won't actually help me get the stuff out. Um, put it there, get the stuff in. That's not helpful. God. Damn machines and having to have certain inputs in certain places. Can you please it. go tear out those trees so the robots can put them in 
I'll do it myself. You're too lazy. no one going to fill in that spot go fill it in I have power I have rails fill in the rail that is missing now you just call us lazy well they are oh it's because it was Far, far, far away, that robot. Apparently. <laughs> I am out of signals, so that's something that we'll have to put in later. is full okay those are all the damn trees your favorite thing in the whole wide world yep ah, no. so a funny story about trees um when i was a kid i i don't know how how old i've been maybe 12 some 10 10 10 to 12 years old uh i had my cousin over playing and uh, he's the same age as me we're we're a month apart and and uh, he climbed up into an apple tree um uh, uh quite high quite high uh, in in our garden and uh, I knew that he was terrified of spiders I mean I mean literally it, it was a phobia it, it still is uh, so I, I was standing on the ground and he, he must have been like five six meters up in the tree or something right. like that and I was standing on the ground and, and I said to him hey there's a spider next to your hand and he just let go of the tree it fell down okay <laughs> he just let go okay <laughs> luckily nothing screw this yeah. i'm out see you later <laughs> exactly <laughs> oh, it was so funny because he didn't get hurt badly uh, he, of course he hurt himself he was crying uh, but but not, nothing broke or anything like that. So, uh, so I, I could laugh without having a guilty conscience. Fair enough, yeah. Man, that was funny. There's a spider. Screw this, I'm out. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, was, I was like five, six meters. Under him, there was no way I could see if there was a spider. <laughs> he just believed me and let go. Rocket fuel pickup. Wait, what? Why does solar fuel pickup have the rocket fuel pickup? station wrong that point. right we're pretty much done with moving the tracks it took a while but yep. it's and, almost uh, done we are, we are out of time we are we are so shall we leave this and come back next week and uh let's let's 
take it from there. Yep. And Arsenal is going to crush Manchester City in nine minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you don't so, you don't sound as optimistic as I am. No, because Man City are the best team in the Premiership at the moment <laughs> and we're not. <laughs> yeah, that, that is we'll see. true. We'll see. Hopefully hopefully I'm wrong. Yeah. And by the time this episode comes out people will know so but anyway, so Yeah. So Yes. Thank you very much for watching. We hope you've enjoyed this one and hope to see you again next time. And until then, as always, have fun. Bye-bye.